Hi everybody. For the rest of the year, we're going to be focusing in on characters. I'm going to read to you this story, Mrs. Meyer is on Fire by Dan Gutman. Today we're going to begin chapter one, but before we do, I'm going to take a prediction and a sneak peek to see what the story is all about. So if I look at the blurb on the back and read to you, it is very important for kids to learn about fire safety and Mrs. Meyer of the local fire department has been brought in to teach the students at Ella Mentry School. But she is the weirdest safety expert in the world. She likes fire just a little too much. Will Mrs. Meyer catch on fire? Will she retire? Will she transpire? So that's what this story is gonna be about. And I'm noticing already that we're going to meet a character named Mrs. Meyer. If I look through, I see a table of contents that shows me this is a chapter book, and chapter one is called Supervision. We're going to begin reading this today, but as we read, I want you to keep in mind what's going on with the character. What characters are we meeting, and how are the characters feeling? and I'll show you any pictures you might come to. Chapter one, supervision. My name is AJ and I hate birthdays. While I don't hate my birthday, I like my birthday, but I don't like it when somebody else's birthday because they get all the presents, they get all the attention, they get the first piece of cake. It's not fair. Monday was crybaby Emily's birthday. So we had to spend the whole morning in Mr. Cooper's class being nice to her. I'm so excited to go to your birthday party this weekend, Emily, said Andrea Young, this annoying girl with curly brown hair. Me too, said Emily, who always agrees with everything Andrea says. Ugh, disgusting. The guys and me were just happy that Emily didn't invite us to her birthday party. It is sure to be a real snooze fest. After lunch, the most amazing thing in the history of the world happened. Mr. Cooper came running into the class. Well, that's not the amazing part. Mr. Cooper comes running into the class all the time. The amazing part was that he came running into the class carrying a big pizza box. Whoa, Mr. Cooper shouted as he tripped over the garbage can and almost slammed into the whiteboard. There's Mr. Cooper now running with the pizza box. Mr. Cooper is the only grown-up I know who wears a cape. He told us that he's a superhero from the East Pole. I've heard of the North Pole. I've heard of the South Pole but I've never heard of the East Pole. I think Mr. Cooper may have been yanking our chain. Don't worry, he shouted as he put the pizza box on his desk. Everything's fine. You're under my supervision. You have supervision, I asked. That is cool. Did you use your supervision to heat up that pizza? Asked my friend Michael, who never ties his shoes. It's not a pizza, said Mr. Cooper as he opened up the box. It's a cake. I love cake. Cake is the best. There's nothing better than cake. It's my birthday cake, said Emily, clapping her hands together like it was her birthday or something. Oh, wait a minute. It was her birthday. Emily's mom brought the cake to the front office. Mr. Cooper told us she made it with her own hands. Big deal. It would be a lot harder to make a cake with somebody else's hands. Can I have the first piece, asked my friend Ryan, who will eat anything, even stuff that isn't food. Emily gets the first piece, of course, said Mr. Cooper. She's the birthday girl. We all gathered around Mr. Cooper's desk. He stuck nine candles into the cake and lit them. Then the whole class sang happy birthday. Make a wish, Emily, said Andrea. Emily closed her eyes. She was probably wishing for some girly girl thing, like a Barbie doll, instead of something useful like a football. Then she blew out the candles, or she tried to blow out the candles anyway. 
Emily was only able to blow out a few of them, so I decided to help her by blowing out the rest of the candles. And you'll never believe what happened next. I'm not exactly sure what went wrong. Maybe I blew too hard or something, but the next thing we knew, one of the candles fell off the cake and landed on Emily's shirt. My shirt is on fire, shouted Emily. Call the fire department, shouted Alexia, this girl who rides a skateboard all the time. Run for your life, shouted Neil, who we call the nude kid, even though he wears clothes. Emily was on the floor, freaking out. Have no fear, said Mr. Cooper. This is a job for Cooperman. I thought Mr. Cooper was going to use his superpowers to put out the fire, like maybe he could use his supervision to shoot microwave freezing rays out of his eyes or something. That would be cool. But Mr. Cooper didn't do anything like that. He ran over to the door and grabbed the fire extinguisher off the wall. Stand clear, he shouted. Mr. Cooper aimed the fire extinguisher at Emily and pulled the trigger. This white foamy stuff shot all over her shirt. Then he sprayed the stuff all over the cake. That foamy goop was everywhere. Fire extinguishers are cool. It would be fun to have a fire extinguisher war. Hooray for Mr. Cooper, shouted Michael. He put out the fire. He's my hero. He's a superhero. You'd think Emily would have been grateful that I helped her. <laughs> I helped her blow out the birthday candles. You think she would be happy that she wasn't on fire anymore. But it was just the opposite. My shirt is ruined. It's all your fault, AJ, she shouted. And my cake is ruined too. Your cake isn't ruined, I told her. It just has more frosting on it now. I was just kidding about the frosting. Fire extinguisher goop probably tastes yucky. But Emily started crying, of course. This was my worst birthday ever, she shouted as she ran out of the room. Sheesh, get a grip. What a crybaby. All she did was catch on fire a little. So that's the end of chapter one. In that chapter, we met three characters. We met Mr. Cooper, a student named AJ, and a student named Emily. It was Emily's birthday. But while she was blowing out the birthday cakes, the candles, some candle fell off and it caused a fire. Mr. Cooper was able to come to the rescue. We'll see what happens tomorrow when we read chapter two. Chapter two is titled, Fire is Not Funny. <laughs>